Blake, I gotta tell you, normally Novas are kind of boring to me. Kinda. But yours, I was walking by a crap ton of things that are meant to grab your eye at SEMA, and um, I stopped and I said, well, that one's different. That one's neat. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. So we decided to come out today and see you, and you performed quite well as well as looked pretty cool. So I commend you for that. Can right, you tell you. me about the thank Nova? You. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's our Speed Tech Performance test car. Okay. Uh, it runs our complete front subframe and rear torque arm suspension, uh, bare brakes, Willwood fuel system, and we built the car really to test to test the products and to be able to come out to some of these pro touring events and the Optima Challenge and you know, some of the good guys events and things like that, and really just, you know, kind of prove that our our stuff works. What um, modifications did you make to this Nova to make it look so cool? Well, uh, funny enough, there's not a lot of modifications. Um, you know, it's that whole less is more thing. The uh, the front bumper is, uh, is an original Nova bumper that I just kind of sliced in half. Uh, the rear bumper is a 69 Camaro bumper that's been narrowed and, and kind of Frenched into the quarter panels and then I put 69 Camaro rear taillights in it. And it's lowered, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, going to say, there's some yeah. modifications yeah. here. Yeah. Um, okay, so tell me about the drivetrain of the car. Well, the drivetrain is a standard bore, six liter. Uh, it's got all good internal parts, uh, you know, a big roller cam, but nothing too crazy. Um, fairly stock motor. Okay. Uh, GM LS7 uh, performance parts computer. Uh, it runs a you know, aluminum radiator, but we've put uh, the ATS road race pan on it, and it's got uh, you know remote filter, remote cooler to help keep it cool. You know, on these hot laps, hot days, that sort of stuff. It runs a Tremec T56 Magnum transmission with a McLeod clutch, and a sheet metal nine inch with a strange center section. Very cool. And uh, so the top side, minor modification to the body. What about the inside? The interior. Uh, inside has some OMP uh, road race seats. It's got a almost legal uh, SCCA cage, missing a couple of sidebars just to make it easier to get in and out of. Okay, Blake, since you put a lot of speed tech parts on this, what are the parts and how are they working? Well, we'll start with the front. It's our uh, bolt-on subframe that fits the first-gen Camaros and technically the second-gen Novas. Um, it uses AFX, the ATS AFX spindles, which are uh, Corvette hub, Corvette C5 brake components, and as well a tall spindle to help the camera curve. Uh, our high clearance upper and lower control arms to give you a better wheel and tire clearance. Uh, generally on a first gen Camaro you can run up to a, a 285 on a 10 inch rim. The Nova is a little bit tighter, a little bit narrower, so we, we run a 275 on this. Um, inch and a quarter chromoly uh, hollow sway bar. And on this one we're running the new Ride Tech uh, single adjustable shocks. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for the triple adjustables to come out and see what there's some of the tweaking. Um, we've got a brand new product on this car now, which is our uh, frame support down tubes that run from the firewall down to the shock mount. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have our uh, Stainless Works built uh, Speedtech designed headers on it as well. Uh, ATS oil pan, like I mentioned. Um, ATS coil mounts that we build for the LS7 coils. Uh, the rear is a is our torque arm design rear suspension, which is a, essentially a bolt-in, no cutting, uh, minimal welding uh, rear suspension, um, fully adjustable in you know roll center, um, everything's adjustable on it. Uh, uses our Articulink rear suspension joints so that there's no bind in the system, uh, and coilovers as well. Same thing, we're using the Ride Tech coilovers. And uh, we also sell uh, a complete rear end uh, setup for it that comes with all the brackets completely welded on. So it's, it's, it's essentially a garage bolt-on rear suspension. Mm -hmm. yeah. It sounds like there's quite a few parts you guys have on the car. Are they all working together or do yeah. you feel like you need to change anything? No, they, they work beautifully together. The car is very well balanced, um, very neutral, uh, slight a bit of understeer, um, which is you know good for a daily driver kind of you know, uh, performance car. It's a little bit more predictable than having some oversteer built into it. Um, so no, it's it's it. Everything works really well together. That's really cool. Blake, it sounds like you have quite a few parts on the car. Where can people find your parts? Well, uh, easiest way to find them is on the website at www.speedtechperformance.com, or you can call us at one eight 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 four six seven one six two five. Well, we really appreciate it. I like that there's a Nova that stopped me in my tracks, and we hope that you did very well at this event. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.